this is my garden shed and I'm going to replace these doors which are pieces of plywood you can see at the bottom here uh, where they're rotting and I'm going to do sliding barn doors this is uh, pressure treated and it's pieces off of the fence that I bought it's salvaged and this is going to go up here I need something to be able to mod the track on so this will hold it out the track will go across there these channels are left over when you install a new door they always give you new channels and uh, you can see on some of these damage from the old door so <clears throat> the new door you change out the hardware so there's enough of this left over that will give me some straight runs I need 11 feet each of these pieces are six foot in length so this one here it's a little bad spot here I'm going to cut a foot off of this one that will give me 11 feet and this will be the channel that will hold the doors and the runners here are the the rollers Here I have the rollers finished. They're ground smooth, the welds are ground smooth, and uh, I have them painted. Okay, now I'm going to, to use a spacer for its location, and we're going to set it this way so I don't have to measure. And what I'm using to hold them on is I purchased horseshoe nails. It's only fitting.
Okay, these went all the way through, and then on the underside, I'll clinch them over. Here's the tips of the nails, and clinching is when you bend the nail over. And that really locks the nail in. Fit. Wooden blocks were cut and inserted, one on each end, and I'm drilling them, or screwing them in, and this is so the doors don't come off of its track on the end. One has to be stalled in the middle so that the doors won't slide and give you access from the end. So I have one right there cut. Okay, I drilled pilot holes and I'm going to run the screw into these. Okay, I bent these horseshoes, and these are going to be the guides for the bottom of the door. And I'm going to anchor these into the concrete, and I'm using these Zamac. But they are a rivet, type of a rivet. Push this in the hole, you hammer this down, it locks that into the hole that you drilled. They work really great. So they're a quarter inch, and what I'm going to do is I've got a spacer here, and this is about a quarter inch diameter, and I'm using my hammer drill. Okay, now the way these work, you want to drill the hole slightly deeper than the length of the rivet. goes all the way down and this flush. Okay, let's put the second one in.
there you have it, a recycled garage door hardware, some horseshoes, and uh, a broken fence that was picked up real cheap. And uh, I used that for the wood material. Eight horseshoes, two in the ground, that keeps the uh, doors from kicking out. Uh, stops both inside and out. Very inexpensive uh, barn door, uh, re repurposed material. The shoes you can pick up online, just make sure you don't buy the cast iron. Cast iron you cannot bend, they would break. I bent four of these for handles and for the ground uh, guides. And a uh, little bit of welding on the upper shoes and the old uh, garage door hardware uh, came back to life. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.